There are three ways to make use of AI in Google Vids, and the first one is by having it help you create the video from scratch. So when you first create a Google Vid, if you have Gemini in your Google account, you'll get this screen where you could write a prompt to ask Gemini to create a video outline for you about any topic you like. But my favorite tip is actually to create a document in advance and think about that document in sections. So I have a document all about London. It's got a history section, a best areas for tourists section, and a day trips section. And then in vids, all I'm going to do, rather than write a long prompt, I'm just going to type the at symbol here, and I'm going to look for that document. It's called All About London by typing the name, like so. Click on the document, and then just click Next. Then Gemini gets to work and creates the outline. And what you're going to see is an outline video with different scenes based on the content in that document. Super easy. If I'm happy, I can click Next. If you want to, you could make some changes by clicking the Edit icon. Then I need to choose a template design. There's a few here. Hopefully, we'll see some more in future as well. I'm just going to choose this one because it's a bit more colorful on the top right here. And it shows me the scenes that Gemini might use to build the whole video. So I'm going to click Create the Draft video here. It's going to take the content from the document using the outline it created and the template that I've chosen to go and create a first draft for me. So here's what we've got. Let's have a look. You see I've got the title, London and City for All Seasons, Culture, History and More. It's even gone and chosen some stock footage of London for me. And I can drag the playhead at the bottom here to see the different scenes. So you see there's a title scene for the city story. It's taken some of the text from the document like Roman origins, for example. Roman capital. It's actually used a stock video here, which I, I would change because it's showing Rome rather than London. A bit more about the history with the Great Fire and so on. So it's done a pretty good job. This is a great starting point where I can go through and make edits that I need to. Now, the second way you can use AI in Google Vids is by generating voiceovers. So you might have noticed that it's also created a script for me. Every scene in this video has a little script that I could read based on the content in my document. Now, I could record myself delivering that script, or I can generate the voiceover with AI. So if I click this button at the bottom here, I can choose different voices. So let's have a listen to this one. South Bank is a vibrant cultural hub with theaters, museums. All right, I think I'd rather have a slightly more upbeat voice for my one. So I'm going to click the edit button here where I can change the voice. And you see there are a few voices to choose from so you can play and preview them all here. Let's have a look at this explainer. The voice one. you select makes a difference in how viewers will respond. All right, that's a bit more upbeat. So I'm going to choose this one and press select at the bottom here. And I can play it to preview it right here. South Bank is a vibrant cultural hub with theaters, museums. And if I'm happy with it, I just click to insert it into the timeline. And you see it's added that voiceover underneath this scene for me on the timeline. Now, right now, you need to do this individually, but Google just announced the day I'm making this video that voiceovers will be generated automatically when you've created a video using Gemini at the beginning to make life even easier. The third way you can use AI in Google vids is to generate images. So let's go back to this scene here where I didn't like the stock footage that had been chosen for me. On the right hand side on the toolbar here, I've got a button that says help me create an image. Now if you need some inspiration, there are some examples of prompts and the output that you get at the bottom here. But I want to prompt Gemini here to come up with an image of what the Roman Empire's capital, Londinium, might have looked like back in the day. Now a trick I like to use for this is to actually go to Gemini or another generative AI tool and ask it to write a prompt for me. So that's what I've done. I'm going to put my prompt in here. This is very detailed, but you could do something more simple if you want. I want a wide image because this is going to replace the stock video on the scene here. And if I want to, I could choose a style. So if you know that you'd like an illustration or a more vector art style, for example, you could do that. I'm going to leave it as is for now and click Create here. And to start with, we get four different options we could choose from. So if I click on one of these, I can preview it like this. I can look at each of them in turn and see which one is my favorite. Let's just go with this one. I click Insert over here and it's put it on this scene for me. So I'm going to click and delete that stock footage, drag this to fill that space there, and I'm going to right click, go to order and send it to the back so the title is still there. Obviously, you'd go through and make edits to this video as needed and make sure that everything in it is correct. By the way, I've just launched a weekly newsletter that will send you one practical tip about Google's tools every week on a Wednesday. If you're interested, go and check out the link in the description to sign up and get the first tip in your inbox for free today. If you've got any questions or anything else you want to know about Google Vids, drop it in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.